Okay, let's see how this course development board is going to work. So the first part, it's very important this card here, the course outline. In the course outline, the course outline is set up with a different checklist. That's a checklist. Here you can create checklists in here. And each checklist has the name of the modules. So I have module one, class intro and expectation setting. And I have two, whatever I want to name it, you know, I didn't give it any names right now. And the final module is final thoughts. So um, the items I'm going to add to the modules are the lessons that you're going to teach. So when I add an item here in a mod in module two, there will be a card created with the equal name in this list, which is module two. When I add an item in module three, there will be a card created here in module three, in the list module three. So let's see how this works. Um, to begin with, that's actually everything we should do before we, when we begin a module. We say my first lesson is module overview, what you, you, what you will learn in this module. Okay, and then I say in module two, lesson two, one. Lesson two, two. I don't know what to name them. I just name it that like that right now because you understand what I mean. So you see something has changed. So there has been a link created here. You Maybe you spotted it here, but the checklist items have been converted to links to the card. So I click on this. And we immediately move moved forward to the card lesson two one, which is this one. And you see here, there's a link back to the trigger card, where where I came from. So I can click back and forth. So lesson two one, lesson two two, and my module overview. That's how it's going to work. If you do this in lesson in module three as well, let's see module overview. And then we say lesson three one, lesson three two. They are going, going to be converted to links again. I can go to three one. I see three one, three two in the module overview. Okay, that's working as it should. The second part is many courses um, will be with videos. Videos, you can have videos in a, in a, as a lesson, you can have text, you can have images, you can have quizzes. But if you have to make video, video is a bit of work. So I created a system in here that um, marks you which lesson you need to create a video for. And maybe you want to batch the videos later when you have some time. want to do this all in one day, in one session, and do them all together. So you can do, um, you can do it like that. You can add a label, that's our trigger, add a video label to it. And now spot what's happening in the video checklist. In the video checklist, a checklist item is created that says lesson 2-1, there is a video to make. Okay? And when you add to lesson 2-2 a blue label as well, the so same is going to happen in here. Lesson 2-2, there is a video to make. And maybe in lesson three one you don't want one, but in lesson three two you want to have a video added to it. There's in lesson three two there's a video to make. So that's a nice little reminder to show you where you have to do this particular task. Okay. So now I want to show you the next step. You see here that we have a label video that says, a label tells us there is a video that needs to be created and it's here in our checklist. You see this here in 3.2. And I now want to have a feature that tells me when I check this checklist item and the video is made, I want that the label is changed. Because this label tells me there's a video to make, and I want another label, another label. And you don't see this right now. That's it. Let me do it this way. Okay, let's just let's just tell you what I'm doing right now. 
I create another label, mm, whatever I, I make this blue, or maybe I make this, I make this, no, I make this green, and I call it video made, or video ready, video ready, sorry that you can't see this right now, <clears throat> you see it only here, that's this one. Okay, and now I create a command for that. So when the checklist item is checked and the video is ready, the label in each card changes to green, and it has another text to it. Okay, then I go to so I go to my Butler list for this, and open the card, and I have a bit of exercise, so I do it now and I debug it when it, if it's not right. So you can just um, relax and watch me how I do it. So what do I want to do when checklist item is checked in list, what's the list name? Videos to make. In list, is this in capitals? No, it's not. In list, videos to make. Um, find card linked in the description. Find hang on, find card. Find link card. Let's do it this way. <coughs> find link card and remove the blue label video and add the green label video ready let's see if butler accepts that it does not when a checklist item is checked in checklist what's the problem yeah, so there is an alternative way you want to checklist video. And that's right, it's a checklist, not a list. Understood, it got a green. Okay, let's see if it works. We always need to test, software always needs to test. You you um, just go back to this quickly. Butler told me here it's understood and it means the syntax of the command is correct. So you basically understand what it has to do. So let's try this. Let's say I check this one here. Let's see if there is something happening here. The blue label is gone, the green label is added. It's wonderful. That's exactly how I wanted it. You see? Beautiful, huh? Let's try it in here too. And we can watch what's happening. Very nice. I love it. Now, let's have a quick look how finishing task influences uh, the board. So, I had this in a previous uh, lesson, but I'm showing this again, just in case you didn't watch it. So, if you have a video marked here, mark this video and then lesson to two is a video and it's gonna be in this checklist here in the video checklist at the top of the list so when you mark this checklist item as complete this is our card it gets a green label video ready okay so does it mean the lesson is necessarily ready too no that does not mean that Maybe you want to add some text or you need to upload things um, or some other stuff. You know, there's always something to do. So, But when the item is ready, you can go to the course outline card. Remember, that's our major card. And which one? 2-2. Two, two. We had lesson 2-2 two, two here. And we check this off. Check it off here. And it gets a new green label it says lesson ready we have video ready and lesson ready so when this green lesson ready label is 
you can, uh, you know, the lesson is really ready. So actually, what I want to show you, that's a shortcut in Trello. You can turn off um, the description and you can turn it on again. It's a shortcut. It's a semicolon. And it works with um, the shift key and the semicolon key. Just in case. Um, you can have um, many, many um, labels with the same color. And if you do use um, more than one label with the same color, I really recommend you add a description to it. Otherwise, you never know what it really, what's really going to tell you if you have 25, 25 green labels. I don't think it makes much sense anyway, but just in case, you never know.